For everything, there is a season. The Old Testament says it's so. We're gone. It's also something Mark Edling knows as he brings in this year's crop of potatoes. The smell of dirt. While Mark runs the harvester. I've always loved it. Brothers Jeff. This is the big show. And Brett. All right. Tend to the sales. Yeah. And sorting and bagging. A familiar drumbeat each harvest on the Edling farm. Yet this season is different. Very much so. The brothers' first harvest without their dad. Yep. Jerome Edling, in hospice and dying, had prayed to see just one more crop come in. By just a month, he came up short. <laughs> oh, man. That this hurts so much speaks to the value the Edlings place on family. My grandpa Stanley and my great grandpa John Rydeen, both were truck farmers, hauled everything down to the farmer's market down in North Minneapolis. This is my uncle John. A family. He was five years older than my, my father Jerome. That's held strong. I think it's fun. In good times. Maybe that's why I love farming. And bad. My injury happened on January 20, 2010. Mark Edling was helping a friend build a shed when he fell from scaffolding. So then I became a C7 quadriplegic by breaking my, by breaking my neck. Three weeks in the Twin Cities in a medically induced coma. Five months in Colorado rehabbing. Did you think you were done farming? Yep, 100%. But a year later, All right. farming lured Mark back. Farming, you know, things break. It's a challenge to fix it. To get up here? You know, I'm broken. I got to fix it. OK. Put him in there, it was like a, a duck on water, a way away. I think we all were smiling. As fate would have it, Mark regained enough hand movement to work the controls. I just kind of punch them and push them around, and the people around me helping my truck drivers. This harvest is Mark's eighth since his accident. Once I'm in there, I felt normal. I felt normal again. He's got a pretty good drive, so you're not going to keep him down. Same for Brett Edler. We're closing it up. Left death before these cochlear implants by a blood disease for which he still undergoes chemotherapy. We're all gonna be dealt some sort of challenge in our life. Just depends on what you wanna do with it. And what you want to do if you're an Edler is fine. He's giving me signals to go forward, backwards, in, out. Bennett Edlin. Give him some signals. Mark's 16-year-old nephew has farming in his blood, too. I'm definitely learning a lot from him. I've been watching him since I've been really young, but uh, he's a pretty good teacher and I'm excited to take over. So it continues. He's learning, eventually he's gonna be in this chair. There have been days amid the pain when the Edlings have struggled to find a reason, but never have they stopped living for this season. You just keep going. Boyd Hooper, Carol Evan News, Sherburn County. The wet weather the past few weeks has made it difficult for a potato harvest. Mark Edling says he prefers to look at it as another year. He and his brothers get to enjoy the challenges of farming.